if you're in the number two position or number three position, you're not going to be sustainable long term in many cases. And you, the, what you're seeing is that natural consolidation taking place. Our CEO of Uber had basically said to the gang, look, we're either going to be number one or number two. If we're number three or four, we're leaving. Basically had a land grab for like the last, I don't know, seven, eight years happening in a lot of industries. And I think investor expectations have really shifted. Food delivery firms are divvying up the world market by market. Uh, basically, delivery hero. Um, one of the few public European platform companies is buying basically the South Korean equivalent for $4 billion. This company, Wuwa uh, Brothers is the name of the group, mm -hmm. was the number one sort of food delivery app. So if they combine, they will be far and away the number one. Uber Eats actually recently exited South Korea. I think uh, there are other companies in there. I think Coupon is one uh, that they cited as competitors. The interesting thing, though, is they've actually exited other parts of their business. So they sold their German yep. food delivery business to Takeaway.com, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is based in the Netherlands, another European competitor, basically, which made that the number one competitor by far in Germany. Uh, so what you're seeing is a lot of this winner-take-all dynamic, this consolidation where folks that, you know, if you're in a number two position or a number three position, you're not going to be sustainable long term in many cases. And you, the, what you're seeing is that natural consolidation taking place where uh, they're not going to turn a profit as the number three player or something like that. So let's all right, let's band together and, and actually build a strong business. Um, so you're seeing that in Korea, you're seeing that in Europe, and uh, I think you're going to see more of it in the U.S. and other places, as we've talked about previously. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's also what Fritz was talking about yesterday when we right. had him on co-founder of Chunar and many other things. It's basically, think of it, it's the Expedia of China. Um, and C-Trip is in Platt, which is, which, it, which is kind of the same company. They kind of merged. It's a little complicated. But anyway, um, the guy's an amazing platform entrepreneur. And they, they did this pseudo merger between C-Trip and Chunar, the two leading travel marketplaces in China in 2015, to have that same winner take all dynamic right. and you have a truce or you merge and now you can just kind of all benefit from um, being the one dominant player rather than having to just continue to kill each other and, and, and obliterate any margin that either business would have. So um, investors clearly like this move. What is interesting though is Uber Eats left South Korea in September. Yep. And when I was at that event with Dara uh, in October, he had said that maybe a year prior, so maybe 15 months ago, Dara, CEO of Uber, had basically said to the gang, look, we're either going to be number one or number two. If we're, we're number three or four, we're leaving. We're not playing that game. We need to get to profitability. He saw this coming, and he had already set these things in motion. So they exited from South Korea in September, which certainly helped to probably accelerate some of this and say, hey, let's just take a win here. Uber's gone. Right. I can roll this up. I've got some extra cash on my balance sheet. I sold off the, Euro the German right. operation. Let's lock down Korea. These guys wanted an exit. Okay, fantastic. Boom. Um, so yeah, I mean, it makes sense that, uh, that you see this consolidation. Where have we not seen this consolidation, but it's badly needed is trucking the, the like marketplace for trucking yeah. where you see a lot of competition between now well, Uber and you're, Convoy you're and a ton of capital pour into that industry right. now. And I expect you're going to start to see shakeouts like we had in food delivery five, six years ago. I expect you're going to see more growth and then eventually some consolidation in the next five to 10 years in that yeah. industry. And you have just you have a lot of incumbents. That's the interesting. Here, there's really no incumbents. Right. Other I mean, than like a Grubhub or folks that basically do a similar kind of platform business. Yeah, Grubhub. Yeah, we've seen Grubhub and and their earnings. Uh, Domino's or someone was. That's true. Some that's like nice Pizza Hut. Delivery. Someone was screwing around with their food delivery program. Some restaurant was. I forget which one, but and trucking is probably one that we'd see on the on the horizon. Uh, where there's a lot of competition, the um, oh, someone was just talking to me recently about the uh, kind of like you know, like a tag sale, it, it, offer up, let go, 
Mercari. It's these mm-hmm. kinds of like tag sale marketplaces, mm-hmm. like like a Facebook marketplace, like a Craigslist. Yeah. You know, very unstructured, kind of like you find good deals on these like people just want to move goods and yeah. kind of like online yard sale. Lots of competition in that space. Yep. Definitely a need for some roll ups there. And I think these roll ups are just being accelerated by the investors, just the general investor now stigma or 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 loss of desire to fund these unprofitable yep. ventures and losses and say, OK, you know, basically move on with it, folks, like do the roll up. Let's get to profitability. I'm not going to fund these basically pissing matches where you're just at each other's throats, burning capital. Maybe you earn a few extra points of market share at the expense of the other guy. Right. But just move on with it. You had a lot of money basically chasing returns and you basically had a land grab for like the last, I don't know, seven, eight years happening in a lot of industries. And I think investor expectations have really shifted as these companies started to go public and people actually started to see the numbers behind those land grabs. Uh, and I think that that dynamic is changing, and you're going to see more uh, responsibility on the economic side for these businesses over the next few years. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.